the cord yeah, start. Yeah, good idea. Uh, give it a little bit of choke. It's in neutral. So if it gets to 10,000, yeah. it'll flash. If it gets to 250 degrees, it'll flash. Okay. There's a red coolant warning light over there. So coolant temperature. Yeah, coolant's always there, and there's a little symbol. Yeah. Um, yeah, how many RPMs, the temperature. Okay. It's very accurate. And then that's some custom steering rack. I don't know what brand that is either. I think that's just the original motorcycle radiator. So most of my free time is spent browsing through internet. I'm always on Facebook Marketplace. I'm on Craigslist, just looking for a car that catches my attention. And I found Aurora 7 for sale. One of my family members was looking for a car for truck use. So I sent him the message and he was excited about the car. A few days later, he texted me, he said he talked to the owner or the seller and he wanted me to go look at it for him. So this video is just some photos that I took, a short video here and there. I tried to put them together to something I can put on YouTube. So I did not go there specifically to shoot a video for the car. So it might look a little bit choppy. So for the engine, this uses Honda motorcycle engine. It's a Honda CBR1000R. And it has a six speed sequential shifter and it does not have a reverse. It weighs around 950 pounds, so it's a very light car. And it has a lot of power too. It has 130 horsepower from this engine. So it's a quick car. And it was actually set up for autocross. The ground clearance on this thing is only two inches. There are some other interesting things on this car. It's made on a tube chassis, very well made. Now the parts are all made from a fiberglass mold. It has custom suspension and on the back it does use a Mazda RX-7 GSL SE rear axle. And it has very nice brake. It has disc brakes all around. And this car will even do rev matching for you. It does have a small computer that breaks the throttle up when you're downshifting and you can actually shift without lifting. So it's very well put together. The only thing is not street legal. It's gonna be a little bit of a hassle to register it in California. It can be done, but I don't know why you would bother because this would be a fun car on the truck. One of the downside when the car was designed it was designed to run for maybe three minutes. The gas tank can only hold one gallon of gas. So if you want to run longer than that, uh, you might need to pull a little bit bigger of a gas tank. The other thing is the tunnel where the driver will sit is a little bit narrow. I think it's only 15 inches. So if your hips are wider than 15 inches, it might be a hassle to get in. Other than that, it's a very fun car. Uh, it's quick, it's very fast. I always wanted a car that can live to 10,000 RPMs and this is one of them. A car with a motorcycle engine. Someone found a way to make it work and I'm actually thinking about buying it for myself. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.